Here we go. A big one for the Philippines. We got Donaire versus Gabalo. This is going to be a very good matchup. Before I get into today, hit the thumbs up, sub notification bell. That way you get updated when I drop the newest content like this. And with that being said, let's get into the video. So first and foremost, I love Donaire. Donaire is hilarious. He was translating for Gabalo at this press conference. And I thought it was hilarious. Now, Gabalo is a real threat. Very good boxer. 24 wins, 20 of those wins by knockout. We know Donaire has got knockout power coming off of a big win. So if Donaire wins, I think he'll probably go for any away versus Casimero, although that would be a big fight for the Philippines as well, because I would like to see him fight Casimero being that they don't like each other. Like I said, I really do like Donaire and I would love to see him get undisputed before he retires, even if that is to dethrone Inioe, who is just my number three pound for pound, like amazing boxer. But Donaire gave him a run for his money. And I could be wrong, and y'all can correct me if I am. But in the comment section, leave and correct me. I believe Donaire broke his jaw, Inioe's jaw in that fight. Now, again, I feel like this fighter right here is getting a resurgent. I feel like, I mean, look at the way he's sitting. He's sitting Indian style for the entire interview. Like, like some type of mini boss or like he's Yoshi Mishu off of Tekken. Like this dude, I like this dude. He's relaxed, he's confident, and he has no worries. So if he can drag this fight out, I think it may benefit him going into the later, mid to later rounds and into the championship rounds. If he can do that. He's fighting a guy who's 14 years younger than him. So there's that as well. Now. I'm not going to do a breakdown for this fight yet. I'll wait till the weigh-ins. I always do that. But I just wanted to say I really like this, um, this pre-fight conference. It was great. Both guys, very respectable of each other. And Ray Mart even said that he looked up to Donaire whenever he was, you know, coming up boxing. And that's one thing I do want to say to him that I hope that doesn't carry into the ring. Sometimes guys get polarized, captivated by fighting their idols, and they don't perform to their best. And I don't want to see that. I want to see Donaire beat the best Raymar Gabalo. So, again, I think this is going to be a great fight. I think it's going to be fireworks. I think it very well could end in knockout. Which guy gets knocked out, I do not know. But this is a huge fight for the Philippines, and it's a huge fight for the world. And most importantly... It's a huge fight for my home country of the United States of America because we love Donaire. We love Donaire. Great fight. Let me know what y'all think in the comment section. About Nonito Donaire versus Raymart Gabalio.